Okay, oscillation energy medium. Isn't that wonderful? This is how you really destroy a scientist because a scientist is just like a professor. It's just an asshole with a piece of paper hanging on the wall. I got a PhD, boy! I teach science. It's like, no, all you did is memorize a lot of crap, write a few papers, and they uh, awarded you a doctorate degree to teach other idiots the same stuff that you were told or <clears throat> forced to memorize. Oscillation energy medium. Let, let's discuss something so simple it seems stupid because humanity is not that far advanced. Well, sure they're advanced. We got computers like this, and humanity is really advanced. Well, oh, look at this. Oh, really complex digital camera. We've really evolved a long way. Sure we have. That's why there's no branch of science that's ever explained what a uh, what a field is because. Uh, Physics, interestingly enough, a field theory falls underneath physics, but fields are not physical, and uh, they have uh, no Cartesian reality. Well, a field is, uh, partakes of a certain energy. Let's discuss waves. Let's not get too deeply into fields, because that'll just cause everybody to have a brain fart. What's a wave? Have you ever asked yourself the question, what a wave is? I think you think of water. Waves in the water. Field waves, electromagnetic waves, kind of like light hitting you like light from this LCD screen. Oscillation, energy, and medium. If you actually look up the definition of a wave anywhere, there's three words that will pop up over and over and over again. If you look up, what's a wave? And then we'll use this word, these three words over and over again. Oscillation, okay, that makes sense. You know, something's oscillating. Oscillation, yeah, wave, that makes sense. Like waves, oscillating. Energy, right? Because like waves hit you like... Yeah, well, they just say that uh, there's a little earthquake and you know, the waves rise up and the wave will smack you in the face. Transfer of a lot of energy, right? Pressure waves, sound waves, transfer of energy to your eardrum. Yeah, and then they'll use the word medium. Now, this is where it gets interesting. And this is how you can take something really simple and ask any scientist or any professor and you can give them a media brain fart. And all you have to do is just... The easiest way to trip up a scientist or uh, an obnoxious asshole that thinks that they know everything, which is a professor by definition, is you just ask them a question like a child would. I don't know if you ever noticed this before, but the easiest, the people that trip up these, uh, these uh, conceited, self-important morons that call themselves scientists and physicists are uh, children, because children always ask them really innocent questions. And by innocent, I mean really, really simple. And science... And physicists, and professors especially, who are really full of themselves, big time, they've never answered the simple questions like, what's a field? They don't know what a field is. Ask, them, ask a scientist or a professor, what's a wave? Well, a wave is an oscillation, a transfer of energy in a given medium. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. So let's apply that to uh, fields. You know, see, everything's fields, and fields are not particles, and therefore they have no physicality. And we refer to fields as having a certain domain or Cartesian value. And, of course, we have the four Maxwellian field equations, which never define a field, but only define a field of a change over a period of time with a certain vector. But that still never defines a field. Now, we can explain a field's influence upon something and quantify it, but that never, of course, explains what the hell a field is. So, this video ultimately is about waves. Now, we say light is a wave. You know, it's an electromagnetic wave, and it's comprised of photons. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but the notion of a photon is a completely arbitrary concept with no basis in reality. Light is technically a uh, ether perturbation or inertia perturbation. Now, all of these are words. You see, Mother Nature is a hairy, is a is a uh, a barefooted chick with hairy armpits wearing a hemp skirt. You know, she doesn't give a shit what you call it. You could say, well, it's the ether. You can call it inertia. You can call it whatever. Mother Nature just doesn't care because everything is force in motion, inertia and acceleration. Everything is capacitance, resistance, permeability, permittivity. Everything is electrical. Everything is electrical. So let's again get back to the original point what this video is about. It's about waves. What the hell is a wave? Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but this is not a wave. Well, sure it is. Your hand is waving. What's waving again? Your hand. What's waving again? Your hand is waving. Okay, well, we're talking about waves again. What's waving here? Your hand is waving. Oh, so we're, we're not talking about what's going on, but we're talking about my hand, right? That's an oscillation, right? Right? So, in any definition of the word wave, and this, we have to get to the nitty-gritty because we can't understand anything unless we can define something. 
A wave is an oscillation, transfers energy of a certain medium. Now, in this case, the medium would be my hand and my arm, right? Yeah, it's pretty simple. Transfer of energy, kind of like a slap, right? Okay, that would be the transfer of energy. Now, my hand is oscillating. Now, I'm actually expending calories, which is causing my hand to move and transferring energy or force due to the motion of my hand. Yeah, that's, what's, what about the wave? You see, there's no such thing as a wave. And what do I mean by that? Well, sure, that's a wave. What do you mean there's no such thing as a wave? Well, let's think. <laughs> this is where you trip up a scientist or a physicist, and especially a professor, because they're all brain-dead dumbasses. Because all those people, all they ever did was just uh, memorize shit and uh, write a bunch of paper and a doctoral degree, and you know, then they got a piece of paper. You could teach other people. You've been confirmed to understand BS, and now you could teach BS to other people. You see, they don't know what a wave is. See, a wave is not a noun. Person, place, or thing. Sure, a wave's a noun. We all know that. No, one. no, a wave is not what something is. A wave is what something does. This is a wave. No, that's my hand moving. My hand is the medium. When it comes to light or electromagnetics, now I don't know if you know this or not. This is from my iPhone. This is a special iPhone charger. You actually stick it on. You've heard of those. It has a coiled... And it has an induction coil right here, kind of like a toothbrush. You know, toothbrushes get wet, and they have to be perfectly sealed. So without having electrical connections, which would short out, you know that electrical charging toothbrush you got? It's got an induction coil in it. Now, it's the same thing right here. It actually plugs into the base of my iPhone. There's a coil right here. If I could actually peel it back, you'd just see a, a coil. Like all the new iPhones, you don't need this case. You just put it on the pad, and it goes, doink, and it starts charging, right? Now, if you put the charger in a vacuum tube or a vacuum uh, vessel where there's nothing there and you actually raised your iPhone up above that you can't get a total vacuum but if you could get a total vacuum it would still charge and of course induction charging works out in outer space it works anywhere you know there's a perfect vacuum there's nothing going there's nothing flowing there do you understand that let, let, let's listen let's let's think about that a second there's nothing flowing between the charger and the back of this case which actually powers up my iPhone which actually charges the iPhone Induction. That's just one example of countless. So now we have energy. What's going on? Well, I have a power transfer through the adjunction coil. It's actually going from your charging coil to uh, your receiving coil, and that's actually flowing to your. Okay, so there's actually nothing flowing between. Yeah, there's electromagnetic radiation. There's a waveform. And what is it again exactly? There's actually nothing there since we actually have the charger. And this is just one simple analogy so people can understand it because they know about their charging, induction charging. Uh, a toothbrush. So what the hell is going on there? You know, the waves are occurring. Waves of what? You see, a wave is not a thing. A wave is what something does. There's no such thing as a wave. Now, I, I, I ask you to point out to me any wave of any type on Earth. Okay? And just show me a wave only. Because you can't. There's not anybody on any planet in the universe that can show me a wave only. Because there's no such thing as a wave. A wave is a medium oscillation. In this case, the medium is my hand, or the medium would be the water, right? Right, so a wave doesn't exist. A wave is an oscillation of something, and that transfers energy. And, of course, that energy is of a medium. In the case of water, we talk about the medium. In the case of waves on the ocean, the medium is water, correct? Yeah, that makes plenty of sense. We have the medium is the water. In this case, the medium is my hand. So, light. We have a transmission of light, and, of course... Light doesn't transmit, and uh, light doesn't actually travel. Now, Nikola Tesla not only said this, but Walter Russell specifically said this over and over and over again. You know, Walter Russell was right. Walter Russell wasn't the first person to say it. Actually, there's a, a passage uh, in the Udana, in the Pali, which references the fact that light is not something that moves or travels. Nobody knows that. I translate ancient uh, uh, Prakrit. Pali is a Prakrit language. So even the ancient people understood that. Light doesn't move. There's no such thing as the speed of light. It's actually a rate of induction. This is actually how light is able to uh, overcome the seeming uh, contradiction of the uh, of uh, conservation of uh, energy, law of conservation of energy, when it actually, quote-unquote, speeds back up after it leaves glass because light actually slows down in glass. But it doesn't slow down. It's because of the capacitance, resistance, permeability, and permittivity of glass. But that's a point for another matter. But light, anything that waves, so... We're talking about fields here. So what the hell is waving? Because any definition of a wave, and we have established that a wave is not a thing because a wave is not what something is. A wave is what something does. So we've negated out the wave. 
we know that we actually have a transfer of energy where actually nothing is occurring between like the uh, charger uh, and uh, the receiver coil like on this iPhone charger here so what's actually occurring there we have a way we have a field yeah the coil picks up on that yeah transfer the okay so we have to get back again to the definition of a wave. We have established that uh, is an oscillation. Okay, it's an oscillation. Electromagnetic, transverse electrical magnetic. Great. Wonderful. We've established that. Okay. Oscillation of what? There's nothing being emitted. Sure there is. There's a field of energy being emitted. No. A field of what? A field is not a thing. Nobody on this earth, you can always catch them. Because it's like a dog chasing his tail or an Ouroboros, you know, the snake eating its own tail. You can't get out of it. It's like a self-negating paradox because self precedes object of negation. Nobody can negate the self, i.e. like in a hardcore nihilist, nihil ex nihilo. Um, from not comes not. Uh, that's some uh, rather hardcore metaphysics I don't want to get into. But getting back to the wave, you see, nobody can deny the ether. The ether is undeniable because when we talk about the definition of a wave, we actually have to talk about a field. And like I said, since a wave is not a thing, a wave is what something does, we have to talk about what the hell the medium is. And this is something modern science, nor any physics person, or any professor of physics can explain to you. What's the medium, professor? When there's energy transfer or light emission in a complete and total vacuum, which even space is not a complete total vacuum, but even if it was, what, what is the medium? Okay, that'd be like talking about waves on the ocean without water. It's like, waves are hitting me, but there's no water. Like the dead, what, what, is it like a dried up sea? There's some sort of sea that used to exist and it dried up. And let's just say we're sitting on the, the shore of that now dead, dried up sea. I forget which sea it is. There's some sea out in the Middle East and it's, uh, you know, it's, there's nothing there. There's, the water's all gone. It's like the waves are hitting me. Waves of what? There's no water out there. Yeah, but waves are hitting. Isn't that sound really stupid? Imagine if you were at a dried up seabed or a dried up pond. It's like, oh, waves are hitting me. Waves of what? There's no water. <laughs> this is the sort of crap modern science and physics puts forward. There's waves hitting you on the dried up ocean. Really? Waves of what? Because the field has no quantitative value. What has a qualitative value as defined by the four Maxwellian field equations. The four Maxwellian field equations never define a field. They only speak of a field in terms of change with a vector over a period of time. It's a quantification of effect as measured in joules and watts, ohms. It doesn't ever define a field. There's no definition of a field anywhere. I'll give you the really, really, really short definition of a field, and that's an ether perturbation. Loss of inertia is a resultant in of one of several different field modalities, electrical, magnetic, and electricity is a hybrid of phi times psi, Q and Planck of electrification and magnetism, which is the only true force field modality that exists. This is Faraday defined it magnetism as a dielectric field, so a wave doesn't exist. We know it's an oscillation, but an oscillation of what? In case of a field, Okay, refer to light or energy transfer. It's an oscillation of what? Well, even in a total vacuum, you're able to transfer energy, right? Yeah, that's, there's not a single person on this earth that has more than five brain cells that knows it, you know. Radio waves. Well, can we transmit radio waves into outer space? Yeah, we sure can. We transmit, we can transmit, we can transmit radio waves through a complete and total vacuum. We can't create a complete and total vacuum, but we can get really close. And even if we could, yeah, we could transmit radio waves. Waves of what? Because if you define the, the term wave, any definition of the word wave in any dictionary, anywhere, we'll use these three words. Oscillation, energy, okay, okay, oscillation. Oscillation of what? Energy, okay. We all know there's energy happening there. No denying that. And then we'll use the word medium. In the case of like water waves, we know the medium's water. In the case of this, we know the medium's my hand. But science is never defined. <laughs> yeah, science is never defined. The medium, when it pertains to magnetism, nor to electricity. Because none of these things require any existential, empirical, palpable medium. In other words, you know, when you transmit radio waves, it's not like, let me grab a radio here. Well, it's out of my reach over there. You know, your radio, when you transmit, if you had a transmitting radio, which you probably don't, just a receiving radio, it's not emitting anything. Well, sure it is, emitting electromagnetic fields. A field of what? 
We, we know those radio waves will go through a complete total vacuum. So we know there's nothing passing between the transmitter, the vacuum, and the receiver, right? Same thing here. So what the hell's going on there? Waves of what? Medium. You see, ultimately, there's no branch of science or physics that they can negate the medium. The medium is, of course, and don't even try to bring up Maxwell, I mean the Michelson-Morley experiment, which never negated or denied the ether. There is no denying the ether. Denying the ether is absolutely impossible. It is absolutely irreducibly impossible. When we talk about energy transfer, waves of oscillations, specifically, magnetism, like uh, geromagnetic precession, or the Lamour frequency, or electromagnetism, there is no empirical medium. There is no palpable medium. There is no quantifiable medium. The medium is the perturbation of the inertia or the ether itself. Now, Mother Nature doesn't give a shit. If you call it the ether, dark matter, inertia, she doesn't give a crap. Okay? It doesn't matter what the hell you call it. Words are just concepts. Concepts are not the way we could argue about calling it the ether, the inertia, dark matter. And of course, when you say dark matter, <laughs> uh, I love it too when people bring up wave particle duality because we even out discussing wave particle duality, it's easy to completely deconstruct wave particle duality because, in speaking of light as having a wave particle duality, like in the double slit experiment, there are no waves since they deny a medium. There are definitely no particles since the notion of a photon is an arbitrary concept with absolutely zero basis in reality. Light is a coaxial co circuit, transverse electrical magnetic longitudinal uh, pulse perturbations that are dielectric. There is no such thing as a photon. It is a completely arbitrary concept. None. Wave There's no duality. There are no uh, waves involved since they deny the fact that uh, there is a medium, and uh, there's certainly no particles involved. So when we even say wave particle duality, we're just speaking out of our asses. So at least stupid people are, which is 100% of the scientific community. Mother Nature is, uh, is uh, sitting with her feet in the mud, scratching her hairy armpits, laughing at humanity and how smart it thinks it is. We think that everything is, uh, can be quantized. Actually, even uh, the idiots of quantum uh, physics admitted their stupidity because they actually invented a magic unicorn particle to explain this. And they call it virtual photons <laughs> or virtual particles which is quantifiably no different than saying unicorns and leprechauns are involved in, uh, in uh, field energy transfers or uh, field oscillation perturbations. Virtual photons. Now these virtual photons are not only not, not, only not just an arbitrary concept, they are fanci fanciful uh, brain farts from the most lauded minds of uh, quantum mechanics like the idiot Feynman, um, and some of uh, what's uh, Leonard Susskind? These are the idiots that preach the cult of quantum. They came up with this stuff. They dreamed up a unicorn, virtual particles, because everything to them is a particle interaction to explain magnetism and field. Of, virtual particles are interacting with it. It's like, have these ever been the inputs or outputs of any experiment done? No! But we use them, and this is their own words, by the way. We use them uh, to uh, uh, to uh, complete out uh, complex math equations so that we're able to understand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you created an imaginary particle to explain field interactions because fields are not particles. Yes, we did. They won't admit to that, but that's exactly what they did. I hope you like this video. It's only scratching the surface. It's even less than scratching the surface. I could go a lot deeper around the rabbit hole if you want. I don't know if you want me to go down that deep down the rabbit hole. Go that deep down the rabbit hole. Some of you might. Anyway, if you like this video, you can click the link below. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. Okay? Okay. Bye.